The military junta that controls Mali pardoned 49 Ivorian soldiers and suspended their prison sentences, ending a diplomatic dispute that highlighted the growing isolation of the West African country and its strained relations with its neighbors. Mali had accused the soldiers of being mercenaries, but the government of Ivory Coast said they were in Mali to support a nearly decade-old United Nations peacekeeping mission of 15,000 members assigned to protect civilians from armed groups. Here now is a report from Abidjan. The detention for Colonel Asimi Goeta, president of the transition head of state, has granted a pardon with full remission of sentences to the 49 Avarians convicted by the Malian justice system. This was the news that Abidjan woke up to. And this followed at the Ivory Coast International Airport after the announcement in Bamako, Mali. Junta leader offered pardons to all 49 Ivorian soldiers whose arrest in July triggered a bitter diplomatic row. The Ivorian soldiers landed in Abidjan and were greeted by President Alassane Ouattara. On the 30th of December last year, 46 soldiers were sentenced to 20 years in prison, while three women among the original 49, who had already been freed in early September, received death sentences in absentia. They were convicted of an attack and conspiracy against the Malian government and of seeking to undermine state security. The trial opened in the capital of Mali, Bamako, on the 29th of December and concluded the following day. The decision to pardon the soldiers symbolizes Goita's concern for good governance and respect for independent justice, claims the government. Goita seized power in two coups first in 2020 and then the following year when he took control after firing the president and prime minister of the transitional government. Mali has been embroiled in terrorist violence linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State for almost a decade. The release of the Ivorian soldiers is meant to both send a good faith signal to Ivory Coast and show that the junta is in full control, while many say it's an attempt to distract the public from the security crisis engulfing the nation. <laughs> Families could not hide their joy over their sons and daughters' return. He was arrested on his birthday, but today we are relieved. We cried, we fasted, we prayed, and finally God has answered us. I'm in joy. Words fail me. I'm looking for words. An Ivorian delegation travelled to Mali for talks before the trial opened and the Ivorian Defence Ministry had then said dispute was on the way to being resolved. An agreement reached between Mali and Ivory Coast at the time had left open the possibility of a presidential pardon. The Malian government cited a memorandum of understanding the two countries had signed on the promotion of peace and the strengthening of relations of friendship. I would like to express on behalf of the entire group our deepest gratitude for all that has been undertaken for our return home. I'm delighted to see you back on Ivorian soil today. We are happy for you, happy for us, happy for your families, happy for the nation. Ties between Mali and its West African neighbours were strained before the arrest, since elected President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita was toppled in August 2020 by officers angered at failures to end the insurgency. Ivorian President Wataha is considered one of the most intransigent West African leaders towards Mali's junta. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.